Farm Progress Show. Let's go. So here's one of the big things people wanted to see at the show. The Next App machine is here. If you haven't seen this, well, it kind of looks like a perpendicular combine, but it's set up for harvest mode now. So the main body of the thing is, is kind of a carriage. And then you, you know, you um, add grain tank, all the threshing equipment, got the head on it, but it can also be a planter, a sprayer, various other implements. So it's kind of neat. I uh, ran into a guy I know yesterday, said he was talking to him. This as it sits here, if I understood him right, 1.1 million for about all this. This is the first one I've seen on tires, I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube and stuff. Uh, all the others I've seen are on tracks. So I wonder if this, this wide, how does it go down the road? So the tires were turned this way in the field, so they're turned this way, so it runs lengthways down the road. So it's actually, it's actually pretty skinny. If we get behind it here, Kind of got two guys there for size comparison, so it's not any wider than, than a regular tracker. So you got quite a bit of capacity up there with the grain tank. Uh, do I need one? I don't know if I'm going to replace all my trackers with this and uh, plant and put on nitrogen and harvest with it. Um, don't know about that. It's an interesting machine. I think what the real key is going to be is in this area of the world, um, are you gonna have parts and service readily available? Um, compete with Case and Deer, those kind of things. So I think that's tough to do. I think we kind of saw that with the tribine. Didn't really work out because everybody was concerned about where we're gonna go to get this thing worked on. And you might've noticed the cabs way out here on the end. So it swings around and faces forward when you're on the road. But uh, when you're working, you're kind of out here on the end. There's your auger, your load truck or grain cart right there. So. That'd be a little bit of a different perspective than being uh, mounted in the middle like you're used to. But uh, yeah, let me know. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think about the next app machine. There is two semi truck loads worth of grain cart. What that thing can hold in it. I wonder if there's a 2,500 bushel one around here somewhere. Might find one if I look. Stock puller. Something you don't see in my part of the world. Always interesting to see equipment doesn't get used in your part of the country. I don't need it over my 40 foot draper. I already need an auger extension to go to a 45, but if you happen to be in the market for a 62 foot draper, GTS will build one for you. The new Big Bud is here. Do you need a really big heavy tractor? I do not, but kind of cool to see them making these again. See what becomes of them. Also got a big brute sprayer here. Well, that's kind of interesting seen it online but uh, never up close if any of you are watching this on YouTube um, maybe heard of these guys I don't know might have seen them around other flavors of green things we don't really see in our area too much either but maybe they're starting to catch on a little bit so you got cloths on this side of the road stuff we got a big combine over there over there and we just uh, pop across the road here without getting run over by any golf carts. Another flavor of light green with the fence over here in the Agco booth. Big single track tractor there. One of the little skinnier tracks over here. And you know, they got the big fence the rogator sprayer on this side. You go deeper in there, there's even some Matthew Ferguson stuff. Lost combine there, it's a better look at it. Another one behind it. Got one or two of those in our neighborhood. Maybe not so much the drapers, but on the combines. And John Deere, they don't screw around at their booth. Pretty big spot. It's an X9 1000, big draper on it. Got a few sprayers on this side. Uh, for those that don't know, why is there a Hagee? You say Hagee or Haggy? How do you say it? Why is there one of these in the John Deere booth? Well, they bought Hagee a few years ago, so. That's why that's here. And they got just a big area here. You got Farm for Profit guys doing podcasts up there under the roof. And they got several cornhole setups here. And this is only like a two thirds of their space. So let's go check out the tractors. Tracks on the planter. I really like them. I just don't know that I want to buy them. 1775 planter, looking nice. That's the one with the tracks on it. And if you remember, 8RX with the, I think the name is right, exact rate, the 1,000 gallon liquid tanks on the back. 
Uh, if you remember, I got a demo one of these a couple years ago and spent a couple days side dressing with it. Pretty sweet. This one looks like it's got the uh, regular IVT. I had the, the uh, optional joystick thing. That was uh, pretty sweet, but it's a nice tracker. And from a distance, this might look like your normal 8R, but this is the autonomous deal that they're working on. So you can see you've got an array of sensors or cameras, whatever they are, up here on the front, more all around. So this is some stuff they're uh, doing some autonomous tillage work with. So that's stuff. I think you can order this stuff now. So this stuff is here. This one's got a central tire inflation system on it, front and back. Don't see anything about it on the signs. I wonder if they're gonna start offering that as an option so you can deflate for less compaction, more traction in the field, and then you can uh, pump them up going down the road. Here's something I've been watching develop with interest over the last few years. So the uh, 360 rain, we have no irrigation on our farm. Um, there's a few places that uh, could be interesting if we use it. Uh, this is obviously not a pivot. Uh, it's an autonomous machine. Uh, it's putting down kind of like uh, their Y drops, put down water, uh, manure I know is something they're working on. So the big wheel turning in the middle, uh, that has a big hose wrapped up on it and it, the way they explain it. So it lays the hose down, it doesn't push it out. If you can kind of understand that difference. So it goes autonomously uh, through your crop. It's uh, kind of like when I'm side dressing corn, I just just slower and you can put out uh, whatever you want through it, really. An advantage it would have over a pivot is getting in all the, the corners of our square fields that we have. So rather than uh, just doing a circle, you can get out in the corners and, and just kind of see it uh, going along here. They got some, some corn set up that it hits and goes between the rows and uh, just lay some water down right on top of the plant rather than uh, spraying them kind of a mist over the top. So that's something I've been watching. I don't know we're gonna get one, but uh, it's just kind of in my of interest pile. Let's go sit in a fence. Let's sit in something different that I don't do at home. Get up in this guy. It's always interesting. Well, no air in the seat. Kind of clunk down there. Always interesting sitting in different equipment. And you know, I kind of like the layout in here. That's your hydraulic switches here. Um, their joystick, which I don't know how it does what it does. But anyway, a screen over here. So it's always interesting, I think, sitting in another piece of equipment. Because a lot of times I think the layout is weird, but you know, it's not that different than our tractors. It's just have I spent so much time in a deer cab that I'm just, you know, I'm so used to it and I've been in here for 30 seconds, not hundreds of hours. So just something I think when I'm at farm shows climbing and other equipment is, uh, is it weird or am I just not used to it? There is the Fent Ideal Combine. Neighbors have one of those. The gearing off corner head in front of it. So I wonder, and it does, this one, if you can see in the cab, is you guys sitting up in there? has the joystick option, so there is no steering wheel, no steering column right in front of you, just unobstructed view in front of you. So that'd be nice, because a lot of times I'm craning my neck around the steering wheel to look at things, and uh, I'd be a little more comfortable after a day in a cab. Okay, there's something I didn't know. Their auto dock feature, if that would focus. Anyway, you can uh, push a button in the cab and uh, hook up your head in uh, five seconds. Instead of getting down, hooking up the PTO shaft and hydraulics, that is interesting. Let's climb up in here to see what life is like without a steering column. See, got foot rests and brake pedals, but no steering column. So the head's detached because uh, the sign over there says they're actually doing demos of this auto dock. So if I have a chance, maybe I'll, I'll catch that. But yeah, this is nice, kind of, Lay back here, here's one joystick here. I don't know if that's, uh, I suppose that's your steering maybe? I don't know. Then you got kind of got the command arm over here like Deer does. Uh, but yeah, this this is kind of nice. You sit here, you can kind of lean back in the seat. I tend to um, 
I think because of the steering wheel, I kind of tend to do this all day and have bad posture. So with these joysticks, kind of like a zero turn mower, you can just lay back here and um, just kind of relax a little more, not be uh, tensed and hunched over all day long. So, so that, that's kind of nice. Oh, where's my versatile fans at? And you want a 620 on eight big tires? Or do you want a 620 on Delta tracks? Case with a big display as well. A couple of things of note to see here. Like how cool is this Crew Cab uh, International truck they got? Pretty sweet. What is it? It's a uh, 1210 Travelette all-wheel drive. Oh, it's holding popcorn in. That's cool. So a couple cool things. I grow popcorn and then at this awesome old truck here on display. There is a black red tractor. And this everybody's been talking about this, the 715 horse quad track. So uh, yeah, that is a lot of power in a tractor. Uh, me being a no-till guy, yeah, I don't need that much horsepower, but um, horsepower game is getting up. I was eating breakfast this morning and I was cruising social media and uh, Deer had a post that said uh, something like, you know, just in capital C case you were wondering. We've got something coming too. So, interesting to see what they do. And over here to the right, and if you can hear him, there's uh, Max Armstrong giving a presentation. I'm actually going to sit down for an interview with him in about an hour. New Holland's Prayer, very similar to our neighbors they bought, but uh, that's what sprayed all our corn fungicide this year. So, Blue Sprayer, some blue tractors in there. Yellow combine if you're into that kind of thing. So I got to go up there in a bit and uh, get interviewed, uh, talk to Max Armstrong later, and then we walk around the show a bit more and head for home. A lot of brands anymore are taking their vertical tills and uh, putting a box on them to uh, blow cover crop, wheat, whatever, out ahead of them and get a little seed to soil incorporation. That one happens to be a Great Plains. There's one next door here from Salford. Uh, if you know Ivers Farms, follow him on uh, YouTube or wherever. His, his own uh, personal wrap on that one there. Spray drones getting bigger all the time. That's a big dude right there. It's the time to see one take off. It's not a little cute one like mine. doing some demos out here today there it's putting some spray out if you can see it so they got it set up and you have a tender trailer here just like a regular ground rig sprayer this lands right there on top of it to refill turn around make another pass Fun fact about the Ram TRX, I happen to know. Awesome off-road suspension, but about the same payload as a John Deere Gator. I wouldn't be opposed to trying a land roller at some point in time. See if it makes soybean harvest any smoother, like literally smoother. The really color of this one caught my eye, but then I realized it's, uh, it's a little electric loader tracker here, the case booth. That has a cool color. Don't be surprised if you see a horse on the farm someday. I'm really liking what they're doing with planters and planting equipment lately. Well, I've been all over the show. Time to head home now. I'm walking back out to my truck. Three hour drive ahead of me. Get back home, see the wife and kids. Get back to work on the farm tomorrow. I had fun at the show, saw all kinds of equipment. Did a couple interviews and most of all I got to meet all kinds of people from the internet that I follow and follow me and back and forth and all that so that was great. Uh, Aaron if you're still watching nice to meet you this morning. Always see you commenting on my Facebook so good to see you in person but uh, I'm headed home now. Good to meet everybody. See all the cool stuff. See you next time. I'm at a farm show so I should be the only white pickup truck in the parking lot. Easy to find.